probably put your hands together for Lauren Parks. I am the grand finale of the epic trilogy of the ALS Icebook competition, Jeff. But fuck it, I prepared for it and I'm gonna do it anyway and you have to listen. And I'm gonna say it with the exact same script. Hey guys, have you guys done the ice book contest? I didn't do that shit. That was on my hair net, but you can't fuck up my hair, I'm black. I didn't do that at all. But I, I donated, because it's something that you need to be a part of. You gotta care for it. It's, it's interesting the fact that they were like, I'm gonna come up with something that's so ridiculous as putting a whole bunch of ice and water, and you have to put yourself through, put in that through your body from the top to the bottom. Their goal is to legit say, ah, that's too challenging, let me just pay $100. But no, it turned to a viral thing and everybody getting their self wet and cold all the time. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like imagine if you could do that for church tides every Sunday. <laughs> like if you're just looking down the aisle and they're passing the plate, you're like, Jesus, I can't do it this Sunday. <laughs> Old lady next to you is like, you just got me wet. I hope you keep that ice bucket. You're going to need it in hell. <laughs> what do y'all think about hell? You think it's full of fire and shit? I think hell looks a lot like this place. <laughs> not, not this place, but earth, the world. I think hell looks just like what we go through. It's just shitty all the time. Like everybody's walking around and you're in the friend zone with the sexiest demon you've ever met. In <laughs> and she doesn't say shit, but you're just like a brother to me. Over and over and over again. Hey, how you doing? You want to go to the store? You're just like a brother. Hey, you want to get something? You're just like a brother to me. My penis is hanging and it's hitting the floor. You're just like a brother to me. Over and over again. You go into the gas station, and the moment you fill your tank, you realize your wallet's at home. So you got to walk home. But then when you get home, you realize your house keys are in your car keys and you're still in the ignition. So you got to walk back to the gas station, then when you get to the gas station, your car got towed. That's hell. Or my life last week. I'm a stupid motherfucker. It's crazy how people are living paycheck to paycheck. It's tough out here, it's rough. You can't live in DC and really be either well off or like off. <laughs> I don't live paycheck to paycheck. I live paycheck to selling my personal shit. To, to contemplating robbing someone, to, to realizing that I know the actual definition and the use of the word contemplate, to selling my body, to paycheck. That's what I do every two weeks. It's rough. I recently decided, hey, let's take a chance on donating sperm. I wanted to try that out. I quickly realized that wasn't for me. The thing about, the thing about donating sperm which, I couldn't donate sperm to you, but you talk too much, so I'm gonna need you to stop. Now the thing about donating sperm is, you have six weeks to donate, but then they give you a three day grace period. So that means, for six weeks, you can't do shit. She tells me, you can't, you have to be celibate for six weeks when we give you a three day grace period. I play dumb as shit. I was like, hell yeah, so you get a little bit off it so I can sell a bit here. Thank you. Sell a bit here. Thank you. It's all a little business. But the thing is, it won't work because my boys won't want to hang out with me. For this six week period, I'm gonna be pissed as shit. It's like, yo bruh, you trying to play ball? You really gonna say that shit to me right now? Playing ball? I can't play with balls, she can't play with balls. We're not doing that for six weeks. And my female friends, they don't want to hang out with me. Or any females, period. Because for those three days, I'm rabid. I'm... You ever seen those dogs who are just humping the air? Like they're, they're, not, they're not touching shit. They're just... 
<laughs> That's me for three solid days. It's not gonna work. I can't do it. That's when the ice book challenge really is necessary for me. <laughs> All right, I'm back to normal. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Little Ramparts. How y'all feeling? Have a good night. Parks guys, okay. If anybody wants to fill in, we got some seats.